Hello, my name is Tom Stiles, and this is Tom's Radio Room Show number 251. And what you're looking about at is something that I purchased, oh gosh, about six months ago, in that they had a terrific deal on this battery charger, analyzer, tester, whatever. And they gave you the charger... They gave you four AA batteries, rechargeable AA batteries, and four uh, AAA rechargeable batteries, uh, some adapters so that you could uh, use AA batteries in these little adapters that were C size and D size. They gave you a carrying pouch, and I think that was about it. And... I had kind of forgotten about this thing, um, and what reminded me to pull it out, actually, I didn't pull it out, I'm always using it to charge batteries, but what reminded me to take a look at it is I wanted to do some battery testing of rechargeable batteries, and I've got a whole boatload of rechargeable batteries by different manufacturers, uh, some real cheapies. This is there's some Energizers in here. There's some Rayovax in here. Uh, I've got some E Loop uh, rechargeable batteries, which are supposed to be great because they hold a charge for a long time. So I wanted to show you this this battery charging system, I'll call it, and it has a ton of features. And the feature I'm going to be using in the near future is testing the capacity of rechargeable batteries. Now, for instance, the things this thing can do is it you can recharge double A's and triple A batteries and you can recharge any combination thereof. And so you could have uh, three double A's and one triple A or whatever, any combination you want, because each cell here is an individual charger, tester, analyzer, whatever. And you can see down here on this neat display, it has information for each battery, not just all batteries, each battery. And uh, it will also charge nickel cadmium and nickel hydride batteries and again you can mix them there's no problem you charge the various kinds types of batteries uh, at the same time so these are it's it's basically four individual battery charging systems now the uh, it's an automatic charger in that you put the batteries in and if you don't hit any buttons it'll just do the charge and once it's charged, once the battery is charged, it will then uh, put it on a trickle charge to keep it charged. So you can just leave it in there, and it won't overcharge it. The other thing you can do is when you insert the battery, you can select wh what you want to do with that individual battery. You can select uh, what current you want to use to charge the battery. So you can basically do a slow charge and use a low current, or you can use a, a, a high current and do a fast charge. And for instance, your E-loop uh, rechargeable batteries do not like to be charged fast, so you want to do a slow charge. And it will tell you um, what the charging rate is in milliamps. It will tell you right down here what the charging rate. Now let me uh, let me see if I can zoom in the camera so you can see the face of it a little better, the display a little better. I've got my uh, little marble pack behind it to tilt it up. That's what that's all about. Okay, it's a little fuzzy, but hopefully you can read it. And so here it's showing. Right now I'm doing another mode, which is to test the batteries and what it does is it will first charge the batteries fully and this is all kind of under microprocessor controlled and it works on the individual battery 
it will charge the battery and then once it feels the battery is fully charged it will then do a discharge cycle so it's discharging right now it's discharging the batteries and it tells you the current that it's drawing in the discharge cycle so for instance these two batteries here, these two Rayovacs, are discharging at about 100 milliamps, where these two energizers, it is determined it can discharge those faster, so it's discharging those at almost 200 milliamps. And it's figured that out itself. I didn't, I didn't set that, although I think you might be able to set that, but I didn't. So once it does the discharge cycle, it will then recharge the batteries one more time so that you end up with fully charged batteries. And it will tell you what the capacity, what it has determined is the capacity of each of these batteries. You know, what is the milliamp hour capacity of each of these batteries? So that's the test that I'm looking for. So that I can stick different batteries in here and let it tell me what it thinks, what it thinks, you know, got can I just believe it, uh, it thinks the capacity of the battery is. So that's one mode. Uh, another mode is that you can have it, uh, I would call rejuvenate a battery. Say you have an older battery or a battery's been sitting around for a while and it's kind of developed like older, ba older NICADs would do. It's developed a history and it won't fully charge. That's the characteristics of the older NICADs. So the way that you normally try to get rid of that history, and say the history is it only charges to one volt instead of 1.2. What The way you manually get rid of that is you have to do a charge of the battery, the full charge, and then deep discharge it, really, you know, use up all the battery capacity, charge it again, deep discharge, and do that several times. Well, this little guy here will do that automatically. It will do those charging, discharging cycles, charging, discharging cycles, and each time it will measure the capacity of the battery when it did that, that cycle of charging and discharging and determine if the capacity has increased since the last time it did it. And it will keep doing that until it sees that the capacity is not increasing anymore, so it's basically done its job as best as it could. Now, it might not be able to recover the battery. Maybe, you know, the battery is just gone bye-bye, but that's the attempt. So that's another mode uh, it has. Um, so you can see this this is really a uh, battery test charge analysis system. Now here's the kicker and there always is a kicker. You get what you pay for it. This is not a cheap battery charger and of course as you see it only charges four batteries at a time so you're not going to you know, some of you get these chargers. As a matter of fact, I just ordered a charger that will charge 16 or 12 batteries at one time. Well, it doesn't have. It has some, the one I ordered has some smarts, but it's not as intelligent as this guy. This is actually a battery tester, which is what I'm looking for right now. So, I think that's. Uh, I think it's very useful if you're heavy into using rechargeable batteries because it gives you some indication of whether the battery is any good anymore you know should you use it anymore and unlike very inexpensive battery charger it will once the, the battery is charged it will then put it on a trickle charge as I mentioned before also it has heat sensors in each of these slots so that if the battery is if battery yes if the battery is getting too hot it will detect that it's either overcharging or maybe it has a shorted battery or something and it will shut down that particular 
channel or cell and not overheat the battery and cause damage to the unit. Also, you can select, as I mentioned before, you can select different charging currents, how, how fast you want to charge each of these batteries. You can also, when you're doing the uh, discharge cycle, you can select how fast it discharges. Or you can just use the standard, what it thinks is the correct charge and discharge rate. And as I said, it works on NICAD and uh, nickel hydride. Now, I've got several uh, chargers, older chargers, that will only work on one or the other, and you have to be a little careful not to mix them because the characteristics of charging those two types of batteries is a little bit different. Now, let me see if I mi I'm looking at the manual. Now, the manual for this little charger is... 43 pages. Now, granted, it's the manual is about the size of half of this, well, three quarters of, of the charger itself. So it's small, but it's got 43 pages describing all the functions, how they work, what they mean, how to set the options. So I'm looking at the manual right now, see if I missed anything as far as features. Um, it can do, it can, for one of the options is fast charging, which it can charge in 70 minutes um, up to um, a 200 milliamp battery at that fast charge rate. Uh, anything else? Overheat protection, I talked about that. It does have um, minus delta voltage detection for the, uh, to determine what is time to stop charging. So it looked to see, hey, is the voltage increasing anymore, or is it is the voltage going down instead of going up? Okay, and it says to itself, hey, guy, you've charged it as best you can. That's kind of oversimplifying it. And then I told you about the refreshing of old batteries, trying to bring them back to life. I think that's about it. So anyway, this... When I bought this, I got it on a super deal. It's one of those one times deals. I got it for fifty dollars, and it was the whole entire kit with batteries and case and everything, and those adapters. Well, I have never seen that deal again, and I can't remember where I got the deal. It wasn't on Amazon. It was some other, you know, one of these websites that has these uh, deal of the day kind of thing. So anyway, uh, Amazon, the normal price on Amazon for just the charger, not all the little goodies, but just the charger and its AC adapter is $59.95. This particular model is the 9, I think it's the 9009, yes, the 9009, BC-9009, and it's made by LaCrosse who makes, uh, typically I know them by the fact that they make um, weather stations. But that particular model has been replaced by the BC-1000. So it's a lacrosse technology, BC-1000. And it's basically the same as this. I don't know what they've done different, but it's the same as this. Uh, and like I say, it sells right now on Amazon for... $59.99. So if you're into battery charging and battery testing, this is a really nice unit. You're going to pay a lot of money for it. You know, this is, you know, this is not your $15 battery charger, but it has a lot of functions, and I'm planning on using one of the functions to test the characteristics of different kinds of rechargeable batteries, including the E-Loop batteries. So I think... Hopefully, this will give me some good indication of the capacity of these different manufacturer and types of batteries. So if you have any questions, uh, please leave a comment or send me an email at trrs73 at gmail.com. Thanks for watching. That's the show for today. Bye-bye.
I gotta find the right button to turn the camera off. <laughs>